Hi, it's Pastor Smith again, and we're going to be doing these teacher interviews. Uh, we did a couple to kick off the new faculty members, and they were so positive, uh, we decided to keep doing it. And what we're going to do is today introduce you to Ms. Beth Shears. Um, she is the teacher of the week, yeah. which is the beautiful flowers right. were given to you, right? Right, they were. So, uh, Beth and I have known each other, but not like we've ever been friends. No. No, but we were at college other. at the same time, so we would say hi every once in a while. <laughs> so it's kind of fun now to have her on the faculty with us. Um, Ms. Shears, why don't you tell us, why did you become a teacher? Um, you know, I think God called me to be a teacher since I was a kid. Um, this is a silly thing, but I remember being in grade school and grading TV guides. Not everybody knows what TV guides are, <laughs> but I would sit in it. I would sit and pretend I was grading TV guides, and and I've just never wanted to be much more than a t much more than a teacher, except for maybe for one time for a little while I wanted to be a truck driver because I could travel a lot, and other times I could be <laughs> yeah. I could be um I wanted to be a fireman for or fire person for whatever reason. Okay. But you know, it's all just always been God's It's calling. been right there in yeah. front of you the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Now you said you like you wanted to travel, and you kind of have somewhat, haven't you? Uh -huh. I mean, where have you been a teacher? Um, I've taught my I, my first job was in New Mexico on okay. our re Indian reservation in New Mexico, the Zuni Indian Reservation, and I taught at their mission school for um, several years. I I don't even remember how many. It was probably three or four. Mm -hmm. And then I taught in the public schools on the reservation. And so I've been, You've been around. around, and then I came yeah. back to Michigan. So. Okay, yeah. Now you are from Michigan. I am from Michigan. My, okay. I grew up in Warren. My um, my mom and dad still live in the same house I grew up in. Okay. Over it's near Eleven Mile and Shaner. So. Okay. So where did you go to church? I went to church in Bethlehem in Roseville. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Well, very good. Um, let me ask you this question now. Well, let me do this first. Tell me about your family. You say your folks are still in the same house. So yeah, tell me about folks, your, you have siblings. What? Tell me all about your family. Uh, okay. And we're really a pretty small family. Um, my parents both live in the same house that we grew up in. I have one sister. Mm -hmm. and, and then I have one son who came to me through adoption. So, and then I have a grandson also. Oh. So it's a pretty, it's a small family, but it's, I love my family. So. It's kind of nice, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. It's, it's nice when you can be close to them yeah. and visit with them. And right. Yeah. We, not everybody gets that all the time. So yeah, New Mexico is a long ways from your family. So it, 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 it is, was, it was, it is very nice was, uh, for you to be. It was a three day drive or yeah. 36 hours, 36 yeah. hour drive. Yeah. That you can't yeah. do that in one day. No. <laughs> oh. What do you like to do in your spare time? Now, I do know how much you are here because you get yeah. here mighty early and you leave mighty late. Right. But so in the three hours in between, <laughs> what do you do? Um, I, I like to garden. So when the weather is good, you know, that for me, that was one of the um, fringe benefits of being mm -hmm. being stuck at home this this spring. My garden's the best garden it's ever been. Um, so that was that's been kind of nice. I like to garden. I like to read. Um I cook a lot. I like to cook too. So I, I do. Um, in the winter, I do things that keep the house warm, and in the summer, I, I cook things that won't heat up the house too much. But I that like to sounds cook. like a plan. That <laughs> so. sounds like a plan. Um, you've been here a year now with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, tell me one of the things you enjoy about St. John. You know, St. John is totally different than any other place. I've worked in the way it supports its teachers, and I'm not saying. Um, other places haven't supported me. Mm -hmm. I've been supported. I've been supported in many ways, but um, St. John's has a special way to show appreciation to their teachers that doesn't always happen uh, at other places. Our Pats group. Yeah. 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 Our Pats group. That's a group of mothers um, who spoil us. Right. Yeah. 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 I get chocolate from them. That makes me happy. <laughs> so uh, we're going to wrap this up now because okay. we don't want to make them too long because otherwise people get bored with right. them. Right. And I just want to say, I'm going to give you the opportunity to say anything you would like uh, to the people who watch about oh. your life, about St. John, about, um, you know, no politics, but other than that, I'm going to leave it open okay. for you. That's okay. Um, I can gladly leave the politics out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thank you for letting me be here. Mm -hmm. I, you know, God, I had this circuitous, not quite sure of the word. I have been all around before God got, got, allowed me to be here, and I'm thankful God put me here. I'm thankful for to be part of this congregation and part of this school, and um, I just pray that we all continue to grow in grace. 
So. Yeah, yeah it's, it's my prayer too. So. Yeah. Uh, we well, thank you guys for watching and getting to get to know uh, Ms. Shears a little better. Uh, she talked about the, how important it is we grow together. What I ask for you on a regular basis for me personally is that you pray for me. But I ask for you to pray for all the teachers as well. Uh, their job is always very difficult, uh, That the calling God has given them. And this year with COVID and a variety of types of students, it's even more difficult. So please keep Beth and, and the rest of the teachers in your prayers as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks with a new, different teacher.